morning everybody it's 6 a.m. November 5th and I thought I'd take you guys through my morning routine in the fish room before I go to work first thing I do usually is just kind of walk around and check everybody make sure nothing crazy is going on Sometimes you'll get a fry drop in the middle of the night or early in the morning usually and uh, I like to get those fry pulled But usually It's pretty easy Got some little blue ram fry, free swimming. So we'll get some vinegar eels going for them. But yeah, we'll get the turtles lights on. And over here, is the brine shrimp for the baby discus. I'll get the bubbles turned off and let that start to settle. Uh, over to the freezer and we will take out some beef heart, let it start softening up make my own beef heart I make my own fish food I use uh, some store-bought prepared foods uh, mostly some angel flake and some play cocaine from Aquabid. Everybody's looking good this morning.
we got all the fish food taken care of. The uh, next order of business is the baby brine shrimp. So, I've got the shrimp stopped, bubble stopped. You can see all of the shrimp have settled to the bottom. So, it's very easy. I'm going to, this is the tubing here to that hatchery. I'm just going to pull the tube, drop it lower than, lower than the brine shrimp, and all those nice shrimp will come out into my cup, and then I'll go give it to the babies. See if I can get that captured. You can see it starting to move here. Stop it, just raise it up higher. Then get it plugged back in and get the bubbles going again. So there we are. And that, that batch will be good enough for today. Uh, this evening after work, after I feed, I will start a new one here and then start using that one. Let's go feed these babies. See if I can do this holding the camera. shrimp is getting old then I will feed some of these other fry what's left over but for now I will dump it back in here and uh, use it again tonight now I know a lot of you are gonna wonder why did you why didn't you rinse the brine shrimp? I know a lot of people do. And the biggest thing about keeping fish, in my opinion, is there is a million ways to do things. There is no right way there is no wrong, well, there are wrong ways. But the biggest thing that I tell people when they come here and they ask me, what do you do for this? What do you do for that? How do you, how do you keep your fry alive? And I mean, you can research it on YouTube. And there's a bunch of ways. Everybody has a different way of doing it. Some ways work for others. They don't work for a lot of people. Everybody's fish room is different. Everybody's methods are different. In my opinion, if you're keeping fish and you enjoy it, you're doing fine. You're not doing anything wrong. 
But anyway, back to the brine shrimp. The reason that I don't rinse it, that's a very small amount of salt, number one. And number two, here in 20 minutes, I will be back here sucking out all the junk off the bottom and the uneaten brine shrimp and giving them a 50% water change. So I do that after every feeding of the brine shrimp. So now mama's getting mad. That's why I don't do it. I have never had any ill effects from it. Never lost any fry because of it. Works for me. That's the important thing, I think. When you find something you're doing in your fish room that's working, keep doing it. If you do something that kills a bunch of fish, quit doing that. I like this big giant boss ball of java moss here in this 10 gallon. This thing is going fantastic. It's got light for eight hours a day on a timer. That's it. No fertilizer, no nothing. So in my opinion, that's a win. It's going crazy. I can pull out of there and start in other tanks and that never seems to get smaller, just keeps growing. These uh, Ginga rubra guppies, which will never focus for me. I had a hard, the hardest time with them. I got, I don't know, three pairs to begin with. And a little, uh, two or three fry came with them. Live fins over at Aquavid. But anyway, they were in a 10 gallon tank. Looks just like this one. The only difference is, is I threw that heater in here. And after after a month or so started getting fried so you know these ones these guppies are going crazy no heater going crazy no heater going crazy no heater for some reason found out just trial and error these guys like it a little bit warmer and now look at them so anyway Guys, there's a lot of ways to uh, take care of fish. There's good, there's bad. I'm sure people will yell at you because it's not the way you do, they do it, but the biggest thing is, is just do it. And I mean, if it's your thing, keeping fish is, is fun and trial and error. I've lost fish, I'm not gonna lie. I've lost fish, I've made mistakes, I've killed a $700 pair of discus, but you learn from those and you move on and you get better at it. So anyway guys, that's my morning routine. I'm going to uh, get something to eat and then I will be back to clean that tank with the fry and give them a water change and then I'm off to work. So thanks for watching this morning and uh, if you want to see a video on that fry trap let me know I'll do it um, this weekend and get that out so later.